The big thing now is that when you come towards the end of the season, it's tackling. Every team, you're all beat up. Everybody's beat up. It's, it's running through tackles instead of getting on tackles and falling off. So that, that's a big stress for us this week. I saw a lot of individual drills. Guys, just because when you get late in the season, that's when the missed tackles start happening. Why does that, guys? Just <coughs> injuries? Beat up. Beat up. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you got a young group. They're not physically as strong as they will be when they're a junior. There are a lot of freshmen out there running around. Uh, so they seem to get worn down during the season. Uh, we just got to keep them going, got to have them push through it, which you can push through it. Are there ways to have the guys practice tackling, you know, this week without having them smash into each other? And kind no, of they practice tackling out there, and they, they were smashing into each other. It's just one of those things. Your body hurts, but it's, it's at the end of the season. Everybody in the whole country's body hurts right now, so you just got to push through that pain. We're, yeah, yeah. we're in November now. I'm wondering if you guys have scaled back practice, either shortened the periods or anything like that, just so guys are yeah, as Coach fresh Sha as possible. Yeah, Coach Schaefer gave a, he took some time off today on individual and stuff like that. So we'll, about this time of year, you start scaling back a little bit. It, how, how tough a balance is that when you have a young unit, you're trying to really <laughs> maximize every, as much practice time as you can? It's <laughs> tough, he, but he does he, he didn't take any team reps away. He just took a little bit of individual. Uh, so the coaches got to be smart on what they really need to see an individual. Uh, but, but practice reps wise, he hasn't c cut down on those yet. Okay. Couple more questions for Chad. Go, go ahead. Going back and watching the play where it looked like Luke and Paris collided um, on the play where they got hurt. When you went through it, was that just a fluky thing? And how are those guys doing? No, the, you call that friendly fire. Uh, that's what defense calls it. You know, Paris trying to make a hit and he, he hit Luke. Uh, that happens. Yeah. Richie Desir was the king of friendly fire last <laughs> year. The player, I didn't know that. They came over and had dinner at my house after the, uh, after the season. And, they said, they call it friendly fire. I'm like, why? Because he comes in the, the piles and he hits us all the time, not them. So uh, that's, that's just playing the game hard, trying to get a hit on them. Sometimes you get your own teammates. Can you sense a sense of urgency either among the coaches or your unit? You know, four more games left, not very big margin for error in terms of bowl eligibility. No, you got to stay with the plan, which Coach Schaefer set out from the beginning of the season. It's day by day. Get better day. Today was a lively practice. Yeah, I mean, and these these are great kids. I mean, it was lively. It was it was scuffles, and there was it was really really lively out there. They they, they want to win. They, as long as they just keep practicing hard and keep playing hard, that's all we can ask for.